Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again this lovely Sunday morning on the Becoming Love broadcast as I teach the Word and read from one of my journals. Let me say that there are a lot of verses here today because after writing the pages I searched the scriptures to substantiate and verify the word I was receiving and there are too many for me to read each one. So if you'd like a transcript of this program with the verses included Send a self-addressed stamped envelope to WKXV AM 900, Becoming Love, Program 5, March 28, at 5106 South Middlebrook Pike, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37921, and I'll be happy and blessed to send you the transcript. I'll give you the address again at the end. It's my prayer that these words will always be an encouragement to you to a deeper relationship with our beloved Jesus, who is our High Priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek, as explained in Hebrew chapter 7 and in 1 Peter 2, 9, the scripture says that ye are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people or a peculiar treasure, that the excellences ye may tell forth of him who out of darkness has called you into his marvelous light, who at one time were not a people, but now are a people of God, who had not been enjoying mercy, but now have received mercy. The Church of Jesus Christ is a great body of believers throughout the whole earth, and he is head of his body. We each have the mind of Christ Jesus, as the scriptures say in 1 Corinthians 2.16, and again, as read from Rotherham's Emphasized Bible of 1872, Galatians 3.26-28 says, For ye all are sons of God, through the faith in Christ Jesus. For ye, as many as into Christ have been immersed, have put Christ on, there cannot be Jew or Greek, there cannot be bond or free, there cannot be male and female, for all ye are one in Christ Jesus. Now, if ye are of Christ, by consequence ye are Abraham's seed, according to the promise, his heirs. So as sons of God, we are all heirs, according to the promise to Abraham and we are called to be holy. The word holy, pronounced hegios, I think, appears 229 times, 229 times in the original Greek New Testament. When the Greek Bible was translated into Latin, the word hegios, holy, became the word sanctus. Then, in 1611, King James had the Latin Bible translated into understandable English, and the word sanctus became saint, and it's used 60 times in the corresponding text of the King James Version of the Bible, speaking of the believers in Christ. As God's holy people, His saints, we are being prepared to reign with Him forever in heaven. As His companion, the Church of the Living God, we the Bride, and He the Bridegroom, even all who have the faith to receive Him as Savior and Lord. The government of the earth will be upon His shoulders one day. Are you ready to meet Him when He comes? Isaiah 9, 6 and 7, Matthew 25, 21 and 23. The entry in my journal in July of 2019 was a word not only for me, I realized, but for the whole body of Christ, the Church. You may receive the words for yourself as you listen if your heart is touched by them and you are inclined to accept them. In Deuteronomy 32, 1 through 4, Moses says, Give ear, O all of you heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech 
shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe all of you greatness unto our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment, a God of truth, and without iniquity. Just and right is he. The journal reading. Thus saith the Lord, Peace be to your house, peace of mind that far surpasses the understanding of men. Confident in me that all of my words are yes and amen. Second Corinthians one twenty. I will do my work through you, in you, and for you. Your joy shall be full as you stand before me on the final day, clothed in white linen, the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 61, 10, Revelation 3, 5. Walk in the Spirit. Walk in the light. Tell the truth always. Romans 2, 29, 1 John 1, 7, 3 John 1, 3. Let no corrupt communication proceed forth from your mouth. Ephesians 4, 29. For out of the heart the mouth speaks. Psalm nineteen fourteen, Guard your heart. I have created in you a clean heart and renewed a right spirit in your soul. Psalm 51, 10. You should always maintain a clear, clean conscience before me. Psalm 73, 1. Keep your heart and mind set upon my presence, upon doing my will, listening for my voice, my direction, John 10, 1 through 16. I will not fail you. I will heal your every infirmity, Romans 6, 19. I will keep you in health and prosperity of spirit and in a heart full of joy and happiness over my love for you, Jeremiah 30, 17, 33, 9, 1 Peter 1, 8. I will, and have, put upon you the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Isaiah 61, 3 Your body is the temple I dwell in. Ephesians 2, 21 and 22 I am always with you, right there. Hebrew 13, 5 Open your eyes in the spirit and see me. Open your heart and hear my voice speaking to you throughout the day and in all your situations learn to listen you ask me to send you people you can help and so i will just be open to my leading and guidance give them the words that i speak to you tell them of my love for them visit the sick and care for those who are downtrodden have a heart of compassion for the poor and a heart that carries a burden for the lost. Pray for their souls. Proverbs 11.30 Help them along the path of life. Do what you can. Don't walk by on the other side, apathetic, uncaring. Have a heart full of my love and compassion. 1 John 3.17 I will lead you and guide you. Don't pay any attention to what others will say about you or what they will think about what you are doing for me. Just follow me. Being accused of being too heavenly minded is not a bad thing when you're doing much earthly good as well. Do the things I lead you to do in secret and go to the places I send you to. Follow hard after me and seek my direction in everything you do. Walk with me, and let me fill you with my words and my spirit, that you may be a joy to me and a vessel I can work through, so others will be able to experience my love and know the joy of my presence, teaching them to be doers of the word of God 
and not hearers only. James 1, 22. Never think anything is too small for you to ask me about. Whatever is important to you is not insignificant to me. You ask me to help you to not love the things of this world and to help you to get rid of the things of Egypt that holds any place in your heart or that keeps you from me and to help you get smaller. So I will. Ask me and I will direct you. I will tell you how. I will give you the strength and determination to set your heart free from the love of earthly things. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. John 12, 25 and 26, Romans 12, 2. I will help you with your request to have no desire for gaining worldly possessions. I will fill your heart with a desire for only me, your one true lasting possession. 1 John 2, 15. And I will give you courage and you will walk in my strength, trusting me to provide for all of your needs daily. I will help you. I know how attached you are to your earthly possessions and how hard it is for you to let go of the excess and things that hold earthly memories for you. Keep working at it. Keep trying to go forward by continually giving and sacrificing. And everything you let go of that has held a place in your heart, I will fill myself until all of your heart will be filled with treasures of a far more lasting kind, the treasures of my kingdom, Matthew 6, 21, Mark 10, 21, Isaiah 33, 6, Luke 12, 34. Don't give up on yourself along the way. 2 Timothy 4, 8 Don't become a hoarder. Give to the poor and needy. I will help you. I will guide you. I will be there to direct your steps and your activities through every situation and circumstance. You will hear my voice in your heart saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Luke 12, 22, Isaiah 30, 21 Listen, learn to listen for my voice. My sheep know my voice, and they follow only me. John 10, 27. Selah. This is the end of the journal reading. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for the listeners today. May the words you have given touch and encourage the hearts of those who are so inclined as to receive them for their own. Protect each and every one as they travel today, both going out and coming in. Help us to remember this is your holy day and to keep our hearts and minds on loving and worshiping you with gratefulness, in sincerity, and singleness of heart. In the holy name of Jesus, and we give you all glory and praise and honor. Amen. Again, if you would like a written transcript of this program with the verses included to use for your devotion time or Bible study, just send a self-addressed stamped envelope to WKXV AM 900 Becoming Love, March 28, Program 5 at 5106 South Middlebrook Pike, Knoxville, Tennessee 37921. And thank you for listening. I hope you're able to join me next week. Until then.